Fiddle three, let's deal with some catfish. Uh, your part for this tune is very simple. This is just really three things that you need to learn how to play. Uh, so the first one is the melody. Actually, you get to play the melody a little bit. So we're going to find a, a third finger G on the D string, and we're going to play from G up to a B. Okay, play that with me. Ready? Go. Beautiful. Now I'm going to add a note to that. We're going to play G and then B and then open A, starting third finger on the D string. Ready? Go. Do that again. Ready? Go. Excellent. Okay, now after I play that open A, I'm just going to play back through my B and I'm going to stop on a low second finger, touching finger one on the A string. Start down here on G, it sounds like this. Ready, go. Again, go. Last time, go. Beautiful, we only have two more notes, and they are open A and B. Okay, so if I put that all together, starting third finger on the D string, I'm going up to finger one B on the A string, it sounds like this, listen first. Play that with me, please. Starting third finger on the D string. That note's called G. Ready? In. B. A. B. Low two. A. B. Do that one more time, please. Ready? Go. B. A. B. C. A. B. Beautiful. That's the first section of this tune. That's the first section. So if you want to learn the whole melody, you're welcome to do that. Use the other video to help you learn it. But if not, you can just play those notes and that's great. Okay, so that's the first section of Nail That Catfish to the Tree. The next section is down on the G string. And this is very repetitive. I'm just gonna find my third finger on the G string. By the way, that note is called C. And I'm going to play that note twice and my open G twice. So I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> Okay, play that with me. Third finger on the G string. Ready, go. Good, again, ready, go. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is go back to that third finger C. So I'm gonna go like this from the beginning. Beautiful, do that with me. Ready, go. play three long open D strings. That's it. Then I'm going to go back to my third finger, C on the G string, and play that all again. It goes like this. And then open D three times. second section of Nail That Catfish to the Tree. And we only have one more short little thing that we have to learn. This is going to start on the D string and I'm going to put three fingers down on the D string. I'm going to play that third finger, it's called G. I'm going to play that four times. Then I'm going to jump down to finger one, which is called E, and play scale going up. And it sounds like this. Count to four, ready, go. One, two, three, four. And then I go to finger one, E, and play scale going up. 
and that's it. So let's do that together, starting on our third finger. Count four sounds, ready, go. <laughs> Do that again. Ready? Go. Good. Last time. Let's do that. Ready? Go. Beautiful. That's the third section of Catfish. That's the only thing you have to do there. And then to end the song, you go back and play this again. you need to know. So it's quite simple. Um, you should be able to get through this. No problem at all. That is, nail that catfish to the tree for fiddle three players.